anyone doesn't know already, we talked about a hurricane uh, two weeks ago, seemingly. Uh, and here we are again. Mm. And it's been a friggin' week, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's what you... And then the other thing is, is um, this is the second storm we've had since T passed. And the last one was, you know, we lost, I think, 11 homes uh, on the ocean that fell in. And this one was by far a a bigger uh, wind situation. But because it wasn't coming directly towards us, it wasn't the erosion uh, problem that the other ones were. Oh, that's interesting. So the beachfront... Either on that the, or on the either, East Coast. either that or, or or everybody has their Hurricane Sandy wall put in now, so it's like because I, I I you know, but there's not like there were some people at the at the beach walk over today, and I, they were they, you could tell because they were lobster red, so they had been out there a couple hours and didn't realize that the the you know the the UV is still around nine right now down here, and. uh I just was standing on the top of the steps looking down and uh, the lady looked at me. She goes, do you want to come down here? I said, no. I said, you're, I said, you're, you're sit- sitting out there during high tides. You know that, right? They're like, yeah, we had to move into this enclave. I said, yeah. I said, but there's no dunes. I said, when high tide comes, like the water comes to these people's, to everyone's wall. You know, and they're just, and there's so much seaweed. I was just like, God, you, you really must have. Would you guys drive from, you know, Sheboygan, Michigan? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and made that, made that, made, made that. Like we're we're doing oh, this, we're getting some Wally sun. Wally World, <laughs> Wally <Yeah>. World. <laughs> um, oh, whoa, hold on there, <laughs> just a minute. If you saw John Candy out on the beach, there's more wrong with just uh, the, oh, yeah. the partiers. Um, so, Kev, when did what day did this touch? Uh, touch Wednesday. It hit it hit uh, Wednesday. It hit, hit, hit like Tampa, mm-hmm. St. Pete, Port Myers, Venice. I don't want to leave anybody out, but that. That 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 coastal region down there, Bradenton, Port Charlotte, they got they all got fucking rocked, but not not clear. Like like Hulk got Hulk got hit like pretty like he got hit rough, the uh, the last storm, and he said that this one here wasn't uh, wasn't you know, I mean it didn't add in, insults injury. It was oh, kind of didn't okay. No, no. But th- then again, he it, he took you know he took such a direct hit the last storm. That... There's all the projections when I saw uh, before it had come in. I mean, it was uh, Hawks and Clearwater, right? So, I mean, that was that was coming right, yeah, right for Tampa Clearwater. Area. Yeah. Well, that's good then, at least. And then yeah, so I, it I, was I, wind and rain mostly for the first uh, overnight, right? Well, it's, we got, so Thursday morning at around one o'clock in the morning is when we start getting gusts about, uh, probably high eighties, like 88. I have an app. And anybody that lives in the hurricane zone or, or lives in actually a storm area, they have an app. It's called Windy, W-I-N-D-Y, capital W. And um, if you pull it up, it's orange with a white W. And if you pull that up and you open the uh, the app up, like for me, like it'll come to Florida, and then there's like a bullseye, and you can move the map to get underneath the bullseye. So I, I take it and I put it right on Ponce Inlet. And um, so then that way, you know, when they're telling you that you're going to get this and get that, you know, like last the last storm, uh, the weather channel was telling me I was going to get 45 mile an hour gusts at this certain time. And I said, 
And I was just, you know, you, you've been down here long enough, you know, like, you can look out at your palm trees and tell that that's not 45 miles an hour. So I I looked at the, the Windy app and it said 17 miles an hour. 17 miles an hour is like every day off the ocean. Mm-hmm. You know, so you, I walked outside and I was just like, this is such bullshit. So I could feel like, you know, I could hear the, and, you know, those, you know, you've got your hurricane shutters down. Which I think is the is probably the worst thing is is once you commit to putting like the the really large hurricane shutters are all run by uh, electricity. They're just too big to to wind up and down by hand. And so once you make the commitment to put those down, now you've got a few small old school hand crank ones that you keep. And we we have one up in the upstairs office that has it's like looks right over the beach walkover, so I can see if you know if there was going to be a storm surge, it would come up between those you know between those steps. So I I've got a good view of that, uh, except at nighttime, you know, when when there's absolutely no lights anywhere, it's you know, it's pitch it's it's like being in, you know in a cave or something, but I could just tell, and I looked and it was like around one o'clock, it was like 80, 85 mile an hour gusts. And then it got up to like 101, 103 at about four in the morning. Mm. And that's when I thought like, and all you want, man, is like, you just don't want the, like I'll fix my, my, like my, my PVC fence got splintered. Um, some of the trim on my uh, uh, aluminum roof got fucking, you know, some of the trim pieces. It looks like the cap got some wa- like got some wind underneath it. But my whole problem now is we've got we've got another storm in the chute, so I'm not gonna call it because I've got a 35 foot gable on the top of my house. So you, I mean, you've got to bring. It's it's not an easy job to fix the peak of my house because mm. it's thirty five feet off the ground and it's like you know it's it's almost like a chalet it's like a like a straight so was that the peak one hundred and three you said uh, uh, yeah I, I, the one that like from the weather channel or the weather station which is 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 actually down south of me it's a coast guard I think they got a ninety nine wind gust. But from the, my app, from where I was at, which was probably seven miles north of that, I, I, I was getting on that windy app. I was getting one hundred one, one hundred threes. You, you put your furniture in the pool or uh, in the garage? What you I, I uh, my ca- my Cadillac. I, I took down to a to the mechanic, and he's working on it. So he just told me. Uh, that he was going to put it on a lift and, and raise it, so I wasn't worried about it getting any damage. That's good. And, and he's off the he's off the beaten. He, he's probably he's closer to ninety five than he is the ocean. Okay, he's probably a mile off of ninety five. So I knew he'd be cool. That would be cool. The Bronco was here underneath the the condo, so we just had the. The Mercedes, the Jeep, and and my Mustang at, at my house, and uh, but we, I mean we've got hurricane garage doors that you know you got a big beam that you set you know in the middle of it that hooks into the floor and into the ceiling. Mm-hmm. So I mean our, our yeah. house is I mean our house is 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 built. It's just yeah, it's hard to watch. Man, I was I was watching some of that footage and it was like. I was I, first time I texted you. I was looking at some reports, um, and it, admittedly, it was more uh, uh, toward the west. But uh, I was like, "How's it? How's it going?" You were like, so, "You know, so far, just uh, you know, it, it, it hadn't been that bad." I guess it was was it uh, late Wednesday night. I was like, oh, "All right." Yeah, we but, still had power. Yeah, right. We lost power. I think like eleven, eleven thirty, it came back on, 
and you know we got those you know so and the thing is too man like so when you have a smart you know those smart tvs mine's hooked to a whole system so it's got to go boom and then it comes up it says android then it's got to go to system check mm-hmm. then it's got to recalculate then you know it's it's so it's like a, a two-minute process every time the power goes out and props to you for setting that entire network up yourself. I mean, well done. Oh, well, I man, I, absolutely. I give you a lot of credit. Absolutely. I, all I know how to do is run the brain. That's all that matters. I don't need to, I don't need to, you know, I don't need to know how a combustion engine works. <laughs> I can get it towed. Yes. Break. I'm That's good. It, man. I'm good. I'm good. But it, D Hotness McAwesome. I just live where those things don't happen. Works every time. Oh, this is a hurricane talk here. I just live where those things don't happen. Works every time. I know. Some prefer uh, other ways to survive them, but that's how I do it, living in Saskatchewan. A little oh. like the fellow who reached wow. out to you and told you that that's, he, he, yeah, he wasn't that, having a hurricane and it was worse in Sarasota or something, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, I've been to Saskatchewan numerous times, and, I mean, it's, a, you know, Nice little place to slip in and and do a do a, a show at the at the rink there, off that road that goes the, the distance across. You know, you start at Winnipeg and you just start going north, and you end up in Calgary. But uh, what was the outermost regions of? Because there's some. I mean, you could go way out there in in Canada. What was the outermost region of Canada that you guys had to hit? I think nor I think uh, as far as west, like northwest, um, Edmonton is north of Calgary, if I'm not mistaken. So you would do Calgary, then you would drive north to Edmonton, and it was like three hundred, like three hours of just I don't know what that is, maybe alfalfa. I don't know what the hell that. It's and it, it, I, I remember it when I, I looked it up on like a. An almanac. Need a break? Nah. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Right. I'm so I'm so fucking dehydrated. Mm-hmm. I, I I I fucking I I pissed this morning, and I was like, oh my god! I, I was like, what is that smell? I'm like, oh, it's my urine. Uh, it was it was it was it comes out dark and right. Ugh. Now, so. And I mean, I'm pounding. I drank. Uh, Seven liters of water yesterday. Oh my god! Huh. So my so t- 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 the hotel that we stayed at is my next door neighbor's, mm-hmm. and him and his wife were staying there also. And um, it's on the ocean. And you have to realize this hotel is taken. This is now the third storm that's beaten on this, and uh, it's my buddy Jay's hotel. Mm. It's a, it's a beachside uh, beachside hotel in Daytona Beach Shores, so we were you know he he called me and he said what are you know what are you doing, and I said ah, I don't know, he said I said Cause I didn't want to put anybody out, mm-hmm. and he said man he goes I have one suite left on the bottom floor he said the the uh, elevators out. He said, so this, you walk in the lobby, you take a, take a left, you go down two rooms, you're right there. I said, yeah, but I got my dog. He goes, pet friendly. Uh, so I was like, oh, fuck. So we get in there, open it up. It's got a two-burner stove, a refrigerator, a, little, a nice little table with two chairs, a uh, sink, so, I mean, I brought my protein, I brought my protein shake, I brought my uh, protein that powder down, and I was doing a, 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 between 40 and 50 grams of protein every three hours. And that's basically oh. all I I had. And I had some uh, some bars that had 16 grams of carbohydrates. I was eating three bars a day. And... I got I got home today because I wanted to take a shower before I came down here, and um, got to do the uh, 
freezing cold shower routine. Oh, right. That's always, you know, but I, 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 it, we we just we we got there the first night. We cut the air down to like sixty eight degrees. And Tamara's in in, in in a bed, and I'm in a bed. And we're just sitting there, and we, and we just are just looking at the TV, and we just looked over at each other, and we just put our hands like across this little 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 nightstand thing. We just kind of put our hands in each other's. I just kind of looked at each other and I said, like, I, and it was just like, ugh. Because the, the mattresses were like, were like those, they were on, on platforms and they were, they were those memory foam ones, but stiff, uh-huh. perfect pillows. It was just like, ugh. Then they had a big walk in shower, hot fucking water. Yeah. You know, just like, and this is the first time we've ever done this because we've, like you know, like if we would have had tea with us, like tea would have slept with his mom, it wouldn't have been a problem. But man, like you're stuck in a hotel. Like there's nowhere to go, nothing to do. There's no place to get food. Yeah, uh, you know, it's fucked. Yeah, and I mean, I put some of the 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 like more high dollar select cuts. Uh, like the venison and stuff like that that we just can't get that we'd have to order. I put that in the Yeti and put bags, you know, bags of ice on it. But you know, four days, man. If you can't find ice, that you know, that Yeti was. I mean, at that point now, the the meat's starting to thaw. Mm-hmm. Of course, I, I have no, I, I have no propane because I'm I'm not. I wasn't prepared for that. I just thought the last one kind of skirted us. I thought the same thing. I was just like, <coughs> no, fucker. Like, we ain't doing this again. Yeah. So, 